Hi guys, girls and all guys, welcome back to Budget with Ira. In today's video, we're going to be doing January's budget and I'm really excited to do this one because today we are launching all of the January products. If you've been following the vlogs, you know that I've been waiting on some stickers and things like that. So it's super, super exciting this one for me because we just launched this six month budget booklet. She looks like this. She's a beaut. She's the moment. Like I'm in love with her and I'm so pleased how well she sold. It it really seems like having the stickers and being able to make a budget that really, really suits you and your needs seems to be quite popular and something that people have been after for quite a long time. So I am really, really pleased that this has sold so well. So in this video, we're also going to be showing you the first ever sticker kit. This video is going to be in a couple of parts. So the first part, what we're going to do is we're going to go through all of the January releases. So we've got cash envelopes, we've got budget books, and we've got stickers. And then after that, what we're going to do is go ahead and move into January's budget. So it's perspective because I don't know really how much I'm going to make. We're only a sort of like a week into my earning for it. So it's quite difficult to uh, sort of finger in the air with it. However, I've got a good sort of rough idea and I'm going to do my worst case scenario sort of budget. And then depending on what the outcome is with my income, then we sort of make amendments based off of that. If that sounds like something that you'd like to watch, please continue watching. But until then, let's go ahead and take a look at these stunning new releases. Okay, this is my favourite part of the month. <laughs> this is really is my favourite part of the month and I get so excited. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you all of the January listings. So we're going to start with cash envelopes where we're going to move into the budget booklets and then we're going to do the stickers. So let me tell you about this month and why it's quite important. So this month we are going for a bit more of a free fall and butterfly thing. Butterflies symbolize the star of something new. They go into their cocoon over the winter and then they flourish. It's the new start of everything. And this month is gonna be a bit of a beaut. So there are three designs. Now three doesn't sound a lot, however, you can pick any color for these. So what I'm going to show you might not necessarily be the color that you choose. You just kind of got to see through the design a little bit. You know, on my Etsy store, there is that color wheel of 100 colors. You pick the design plus the color that you want. So if you want pink, have pink. If you want purple, have purple. If you want blue, teal, whatever you want. I'm going to stop prattling on and I'm going to show you what each design looks like. So this is design A in A mini. So design A is vertical lines and loads of butterflies. We've got like cranberries in the background as well. And this is on a purple background. There are butterflies absolutely everywhere. And I think it is such a beaut. It's so nice. This is what it looks like as a midi in a lime green. Isn't that nice? This is my A7 laminated in a sort of minty color. This is the A6 laminated in a teal. That's a beaut, isn't it? This is A6 luxury in a bright, bright, bright pink. When you get into the bigger sizes, you really start to see the just, just how pretty it is. And in more of a softer pink, we have got a zipper. So nice, right? Option B is much, much, much more condensed. It's like really a flowery. So you've got roses everywhere and you've got butterflies dotted around. So there aren't as many butterflies and it's sort of in between the first one, which is very butterfly heavy and the next one, which is gonna be less butterflies, more flowers. But this one is my favorite and this is the mini in a very soft pastel blue. Here's the exact same design in a darker blue the midi in a deep orange, the A7 laminated in a sort of softer peachy yellow, A6 laminated in a zesty green, the A6 luxury in a deep purple, really like this one, and the zipper in a lavender sort of lilac color. It's a bit of a winner this one, isn't it? And the final option, option C, is just flowers. So there's lots of green and roses. And in this sort of emerald green, 
I really like how this one looks. Here's what it looks like in a much softer mint on the mini. A vibrant yellow for the midi looks lovely. A peach for the A7. I am a fan, I must admit. Somewhere between green and yellow, this color is, and <laughs> you wouldn't think that it goes, but I really like it. And would you look at that sky blue on the A6 Luxury? Wow. And a sort of periwinkle colour on the zipper. I like that. So how you'd order this is you'd pick which one that you wanted. So you either want A, which is all butterflies, B, which is butterflies and flowers, or C, which is flowers. And then you add the colour code. So it's all explained on the Etsy store. So for instance, if you wanted a purple colour in B, you might say B50 and then your categories and stuff like that. So just to confirm, your options are limitless. There's like 300 options, but the design options are option A, the stunning butterfly one. Option B, my favorite, which is butterflies and flowers. And option C, which is rose garden. Oh, just so nice, so nice. Okay, let's get into the budget booklet. So obviously we have two budget booklets. We have a monthly budget booklet and we have a weekly budget booklet. Let's get into them. I think it's probably best to start with the monthly one, seeing as last time we started with the weekly one. So monthly is bright, bright pink, opposed to the weekly one, which is that deep, deep purple. So obviously the format of these has not changed at all. So we're going into a new year with the same format. Um, it's still gonna work exactly the same. So if you're one of those people who really, really love these budget booklets, it's still gonna work exactly the same for you. So this print really, really pops. So let's move over. You have your splash page in this bright sky blue and it is just such a stunner. So this is your nameplate page where you take ownership of your budget and you tell everyone who this budget belongs to. And then you move straight into your calendar, which is a just stunning teal. Obviously the budget booklet comes with stickers. So your expense trackers are in five colors and they are the colors that I have chosen for this theme. So you have that zesty green, your teal, your deep purple, your sky blue, and your hot, hot pink. When you go to the sticker sheet too, you'll notice the glaring obvious mistake. I have made a December sticker. It is way too late in the day to fix it. I really, really apologize, but you don't need that sticker to make this function. So you've still got your no spend stickers, your calendar, your payday stickers, and your uh, dates for on top of the calendar. So you can have a Sunday start or a Monday start. The only annoying thing is that, you know, that should say January, but it is just too late to change it at this point. But it's still an absolute beaut anyway. So these stickers are free with this booklet. You can obviously also get an extra sticker sheet one if you need more expense trackers. Moving over on the next page, you have your paycheck bill tracker and this is in a deep, deep purple. So as you can see, I've started to play a little bit more this time because, you know, we can. So the design is coming out of there. So your paycheck bill tracker has all these butterflies over. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Like if you're gonna have a budget, let's have it fun. Let's let's stick some butterflies over it. Let's put some flowers on, like <laughs> let's have a bit of fun. And I just love the way it looks. Then you have your check-in, which is the most boldest, brightest, most garish pink, and I love it. It's the same pink that we've used on the front as well. So uh, I love it. You've got your butterflies here as well, just to keep you company. <laughs> I love it, I absolutely adore it. And then you move into your first tracker page, which is in my favorite green. It's just a really, really nice green. Butterflies, flowers, absolutely everywhere. And you've got your meal plan and your shopping list. So obviously this has a Sunday start, but you get your sticker so you can move it to a Monday start and just replace that for a black strip rather than a teal one. So it still works. And then you move on to the last page. You've got your sinking funds here where you can list all of those. And then you've got a blank sheet here to do with whatever you want. Now on the back page, we normally collaborate with Jake and Jake designs a savings challenge for you. And this month is no different, bestie. Check out this. Jake's called this Flutter Buy. So what he's asking you to do is to color the segments to save. So each butterfly has loads of different segments. You can have them as a pound or 20p or a dollar or 50 cents 
or whatever they are, whatever works for you. And then once you've colored in the butterflies, you've saved the amount that you want to save. I haven't actually gone through and counted up all the segments because there's a lot, but um, this can really, really work and could be something quite rewarding. So this savings challenge is on both of them, but obviously depending on which color you get, you get a different colored background. But I think Jake's done really, really well, well with this. What do you reckon? Moving over to the weekly booklet. Now the weekly booklet is different to the monthly booklet because this is for people who get paid once per week. And it also can work for people who get paid two or three times in a month uh, and need a paycheck bill tracker more than once for each month. So as you open up, obviously you come to the calendar page and you definitely still get your free stickers and there is still the mistake on it. It still says December, but we're moving on from that. We do not see that, we do not perceive that. I never make mistakes. No such thing happens. <laughs> you have your paycheck bill tracker one, which is exactly the same as in the monthly booklet, but then you run through the gamut of the colors that I've chosen for January. And look at these, look at that teal one. That's a beauty, right? But my favorite is this, look at that acid cream. Absolutely adore it. Obviously, the weekly budgeters get a check-in, so you can check in for up to five weeks, and then you go on to your Flutter Buy saving challenge that Jake has designed for you. So as a reminder, there is the monthly budget book and the weekly budget book available. The monthly budget book has all of the trackers in it, and it has the single paycheck bill tracker and loads more pages. The weekly has a calendar, five paycheck bill trackers, and a check-in, and they both have the savings challenge with them. They both come with these stunningly accurate and you know correct month written on them uh, stickers and they are free with the booklets however you can purchase an extra sticker sheet one which gives you more expense trackers if that's what you need Okay, next we are gonna look at the stickers that go within the budget planner. So this is my six month budget planner that's available on my Etsy store and this is my own copy. So what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to have stickers for your calendar and then whatever works for you afterwards. So you've got your six blank pages here. So you can budget for whether you are a monthly budgeter or a weekly budgeter, whatever works for you. And then once you finish with your six pages, you move into, well, can find it your calendar obviously we've got stunning 160 gsm paper just to cope with whatever you want to do with your stickers so we're going to come back to this in a sec but let me show you what is available so with this month's release and what we're going to do going forward is we're going to have a monthly kit and a weekly kit these aren't sealed or anything like that because people might buy more but i'm going to show you what's in each kit now they are priced differently the monthly kit is priced at 12 pounds and the weekly kit is priced at 15 pounds and there is a reason for that and it's because there are more stickers in the weekly kit than there are in the monthly kit because you would technically need more but let me show you the difference between the two so that you can make a decision for yourself. So let's move the weekly one away and we'll go through the monthly kit. So let's pour all of this out. So everybody gets a freebie. This is like a couple of different stickers. You've got some butterflies, some roses and whatever. <laughs> then you have your washi set. So if you look, they are pre-cut to the exact right size. So in a washi set, you get a thick one, two thick ones, and two thin ones, okay? So in the monthly one, you get five, there they are, you get five washi sets because if you're only having one paycheck bill tracker, you've got more room to make more decisions with your pages. So you have five different washi sets and these will work for a full double page spread. So you have the blue, the purple, the teal, the pink, and the green. So absolutely stunning. You've then got your check-in sheet. So your check-in sheet has two thick washies, two thin washies, and then it has your five weeks and then your total strips. You've got your title there and you've even got some beautiful butterfly decals on there. So that is all you need for your check-in sheet and you're gonna see me set that up later in today's video. You also get your paycheck bill tracker sheet. So this has evolved slightly from the one that I showed you on the launch video. So you still got all the same stickers. So the stickers haven't technically changed. However, the freebies that you get are Above are slightly different. So I know 
notice that some people don't like to call theirs a paycheck bill tracker. They might just want to call it a budget. So you can have a budget sticker. We've got some semicircle stickers and we've got some functional stickers as well that might be really handy. We've kept them and we've added in like some butterflies and stuff like that. So you've got cleaning, trash, shopping, home, letters, stars, like you've got all sorts in here. So this is really, really handy. So you get one of these with the monthly ones and it is this luminous bright pink. You also get with both kits, these uh, script stickers. So these are title stickers, which are designed to go at the top with a thick purple uh, board around them because there's so many different types of pages that you might want. So we've got the words debt, tracker five times, expense five times, savings, sinking funds, bills, notes, week one, week two, week four, week five, and income. We've got loads of different ones. And we've even got some really thin washies here with date and total. And we've got Sunday to Saturday as well, just in case you wanna track things a little bit differently. So if you wanna add something at the end of your check-ins or whatever. So, you know, the world is your absolute oyster. And I'll show you what that might look functionally in the wild. And here is your calendar set. So with everybody, you are getting it in a tier this month so uh, you've got your tab sticker here you've got two paydays um, because that's all that fits on you've got January and you've got 2023 so I did get it right for this sticker set you've got eight no spends but obviously you can buy extra no spends on my Etsy store and you've got the date dots you've got your strips at the top at the bottom you've even got some boxes as well if you wanted to use those so there is so much in here and I can't wait to show you how they work. We've also got expense tracker stickers and I've had to reformat these because they are slight, the boxes you have in the six month planner are slightly skinnier. So while it looks the same, it is slightly slimmer. So these ones work, but you could technically use the other ones if you've got them backed up, but uh, these are the perfect size. So you get one of these, um, there you go. So um, all of these are, the, this is what everything that you get in the monthly kit however you can purchase each sticker set except for the freebie set as an like an extra so if you're if you want like extra ones of the green or extra ones of the blue or extra expanse stickers you can get them all extra so the monthly kit looks like this uh it doesn't look much different uh, i'll be really really honest with you but you'll start to notice why it's priced slightly higher so obviously you get your freebie kit but you only get one thick and thin washi set uh, you have your expense trackers you have your check-in sheet you have your calendar you have your scripts and then you have five huge paycheck bill tracker. So remember the pink one that I showed you? Um, yep, yeah, this is a beaut, <laughs> but you also get it in blue, purple, teal, and green. And this is what we're gonna do going forward. So you get five paycheck bill trackers, but you get all of these functional stickers as well, like because there's so much choice and so many different ways to do your budget. I wanna make sure that this is the most concise page. So um, yeah, that's why the weekly one is a little bit more expensive, but like considering what you get for the weekly one, it's actually reasonable. I feel like if I, I would like probably, if it was me, I'd probably get the monthly kit, but I'd, probably pick up an extra paycheck bill tracker just in case and I'd maybe get a different washi like you, the world your oyster with it so that is what we've got so obviously we've got the all the cash envelopes available we've got the uh, bu budget booklets available and then we have the sticker kit so I really truly hope you like these um, and I know it's hard to see what these stickers are going to look like but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you what they look like in my budget booklet Okay, here we are in my budget planner. So this is mine. She's stunning. She hasn't been touched yet. She <laughs> and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna set up this calendar page. Here is the calendar washi set. So I will talk you through it. Actually, it'd probably be best if I just speed run through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the calendar for January and show you what it looks like and why I've done what, and I'll be back with you in a sec.
Okay, that is the calendar all set up. So for me, January is a Sunday start. So we start from the first. So down here, I've made some squares. So we've also got the circle dots. So if you'd rather have a blank dot there, you can do that, but I quite like blanking them out so then I don't have to think about them or worry about them. And I was thinking about using those dots as like bullet points in the notes section. Uh, we've got January 2023 and um, we've also got the payday flag. I think going forward I might add more paydays uh, because it's obviously not going to be enough for me is it? Uh, and then we've also got the January tab where it says January on both sides so when you close your booklet it sticks out like that so you can go straight to your January calendar which I love. The one thing I do recommend about this little tab is to fold the sticker before you peel it away because then it's pre-folded in the middle otherwise it can get a bit fiddly but other than that I've got everything I need. I really really like this sticker that I've included like instead of having no spend days if you have a no spend weekend or you want to you know give yourself a target to have a no spend weekend you can lay that down it's like a double sticker so absolutely love that in love with that calendar really really pleased with how that went so we're going to move over here and we're going to set out my paycheck bill tracker next Here we are. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a space for her. I really like her. I'm just gonna have to put her at the bottom. Um, yeah, so this is my paycheck bill tracker page and my envelope page. So I've stopped here. I've still got plenty of stickers uh, left on here. Uh, I do need this one actually. There's loads of stickers left on here, but because I don't know how many sort of cash categories I will be stuffing for January, because it all really depends on how much I finally get paid, um, I'm not gonna fill that page in until it comes time for it. So this paycheck bill tracker is ready for me to do. And if you can see, there are so many stickers left over. So you've got a deck category, you've got blank categories, you've got extra bits, you've got extra washies. There's like two more washies. You could replace that for budget. You've got flags, calendars, all sorts, arrows. You've just got so much. There's so much you can do with this. But I am gonna move over and I'm gonna move over to the next sheet and I'm gonna speed through this bit. This is the check-in page. So I'm just gonna quickly do all of this and set it up for what I need. Okay, so the check-in sheet's done. Um, so we've still got stickers left. So I only need five lines, but some people need much, much more. So some people need like two. So I only need five lines. So because of that, I couldn't quite fit a fourth week on the bottom. So I just moved it over to the second page, but there's also a fifth week if you are having a fifth week in January. Um, and then, yeah, so then nothing's stopping you spilling over to other pages. I also used the notes script from the washi set, not the washi set, the script page. Um, so yeah, that's done. So the last thing I wanna do is set up one last page and this one's gonna be, I think a savings tracker, but I'm just gonna set up one page and I'll show you what that'll look like. Okay, that's sort of done for me there. So there's there's so much more you could do. You, so you could have expense tracker, you could have sinking funds, your bills on the list, you could have like a page per week. You can do so, 
so 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 much so i've still got like this full page spread this one this one and this one <laughs> until we get into February. So there's loads of room to grow and loads of room to figure it out. So the last thing I wanna do really quickly is just draw a couple of lines through these and then I will meet you in the Paycheck Build Tracker where I will figure out January's budget with you. Okay, let's get cracking with January's budget. So as you can probably tell, I have made this perfect for me. So what fits my needs. So I have got a lot of wiggle room, I think in bills, I think I've done that. And I've got wiggle room in sinking funds. So let's start with income and I'll just tilt it a little bit so you can see a bit better. So uh, obviously we have Jake's income which I always need because that's his half of the bills. And then I'm gonna break my uh, pay down very, very slightly um, just for you. It, it doesn't necessarily help me in my budget, but I do it for you. So I will do Etsy and YouTube, and then I'll do Patreon separately. And then I will do emergency, just in case I need to use my emergency fund. Okay, so Jake's half of all of the bills for January is 370.38. And then I am hoping that I don't have to use any emergency fund money. And uh, I always take 200 pounds off Patreon. So the rest of it, in terms of the profit, I stuff with the Patreons, but I always take 200 pounds for my budget. So this month I am hoping to earn on Etsy 1,522.29. So when I combine those three together, that comes up to 2,092. 67. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move this up and I'm going to populate this of all of my bills. Nothing is any different from December. So I'm going to speed through it and then I'll join you again when we come to talk about envelopes. I gave myself an extra one because I have that uh, new internet, but I don't know what date it's coming out on. So I just put both in that date there. So it comes up to 1,132.67, which leaves me with 970 pounds. So envelopes are exactly the same. So I've got four um, envelope categories. So I have spending, January is a four week month for me. So it's gonna be all the same. So it's 120 pounds for spending, so 30 pounds a week. Groceries is gonna be 280, hopefully, because that's 70 pounds a week. Petrol will be the same, 120, because it's 30 pounds a week again. And 10 pounds a week for household makes it 40 pounds. And the total of that comes up to 560 pounds, leaving me with 400 pounds. Okay, so what I'm planning, oh, I haven't put January. I always forget to do that. Let me put that now. Okay, so what I'm planning to do for sinking funds is just the four, um, because I, you know, we're doing worst case scenario here. So we'll go water for 25, which is normal what I do. Car maintenance for 25 which is normal. And then the Hindu, which should be the last one, will be a hundred and stag do is another last one, which is a hundred. So that comes up to 250 pounds, which should leave me with 250 pounds. 
Okay, and then moving over the last one. So I want to have three savings pots. So I want to have emergency, a pension pot, and the new one, which would be a LISA, which is something that you have in the UK, which really, really helps first time buyers. So I'm not planning to do anything into pension and LISA, but what I will do is do something depending on my income, but I am actually planning, planning to put 250 pounds into my emergency fund, just to bolster it in case it is as quiet as I'm expecting. So that would be a total of 250 pounds, which would leave me with zero. So I'm planning to have a buffer of zero. So, so yeah. So that's what my budget looks like for January. And I think it's really, really reasonable. I think it's basically what I do every month. It is the barest bones, but it's also got a bit of fat in there. So if I didn't earn the 1522.29 on uh, Etsy and YouTube, like I, I'm hoping to, then I'd probably trim some fat from groceries and potentially I have to do hen do and stag do because it's coming up. <laughs> so I think that's the only place that I've got a bit of fat to trim. But I, you know, I could use emergency fund and not put any into emergency fund. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, so all in all, I think this budget is nice and strong. I love how these pages have turned out. And I'm really, really excited to start using my six month planner and starting to just budget in a way that really, really suits me. I hope you enjoyed it today. Hi guys, guys, and all Barry Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, or comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. And that's all I have for you this week. And just to remind you that the January exclusive items are available right now on my Etsy store. If you are a member of the Patreon, please make sure that you message me on the thread on Patreon, just to let me know what you're after, because I'm looking to get your postage mailed out this weekend, which will be like quite nice if we're able to do that. So get it together, besties. <laughs> Um, I do want to say thank you again so much to the patrons because I say it all the time. I say it every single month. The only reason why we are able to have amazing launches and do something really, really special every single month is because Patreon bankrolls it. It's the money that I get from Patreon makes such a significant difference to what I do and what I'm able to do. So thank you so much to the patrons. And if you are considering being a patron, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret it, bestie. So I am going to love you and leave you. Um, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And I will see you again very, very soon, bestie. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.